Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Chris McDermott, Christopher McDermott. <clears throat> I'm going to be making the joke lately. No. Oh, hold on, I must drop my guitar. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been making the joke lately. Well, not me, everybody. They're teasing me because of the weird shit that's been happening in my life. And saying, you know, it's actually pronounced Christ offer. And, you know, I never thought about it before. I was like, you know, that's kind of funny. But my son's name is Christ, Chris, Christopher also. And I was like, you know, and that because of that, all the weird religious shit happening to me lately because I'm not that religious. I mean, I'm spiritual. I believe in God and I believe in Jesus and the whole meaning of it and all that. And I've always just naturally been who I am. I'm just humble and all that. But I, I have weird ideas on ways that could have, things that could have been explained better. And, um, you know, like when I first, I just read the Bible for the first time and like, I mean, I read, like, bits and pieces of it as a kid, but didn't really care. It was too boring. And I knew it was important, because my grandma was drilled, drilled it into my head, but I just never really cared. And I got kicked out of CCD school. Uh, it was CCD, they called it, which was, like, church on Wednesdays, basically, Sunday. Like, not like Sunday. It's kind of like Sunday school, I guess. I don't know what the hell I did it on a Wednesday for, but... Uh, hold on, I mean, like, my cigarette. But, uh... There's just so many weird things happening, like, between the... But it, this was never meant to be a religious podcast, obviously. I tried to be, like, a Howard Stern thing, and I'm not religious like that, but... And it's dirty. I got cursing and stuff and all that, so... But it just keeps on gearing towards... The only time I seem to want to put stuff up on here is when it's weird. And there's been a lot of weird stuff lately. Like songs and stuff, but, uh... So, you know, it's kind of like a log of... It's a log of uh, weird, all the weird occurrences, like the other day with that thing on Google Maps where I was side swiping, looking to see if my wife made it to work on time, and I swiped it too far and dropped the pin over in the Gulf of, of uh, what was it again? The Gulf of Guinea, I think, the Guinea Gulf, New Guinea Gulf or something like that, and I dropped the pin right on top of a, a spot, and I was like, oh. It was kind of like a boneyard. I want to zoom in and see what, where I landed that pin. So I zoom all the way in, and it looks like a freaking demon hand sticking out of the ground, like a bony hand holding on to some creature with like a tongue sticking out of its mouth, and it was so creepy because I landed on it totally randomly by accident, and I zoomed in on it, and I had this feeling of like, and I was just talking about this with my wife the other day that in my, uh, you know, in 2015, I had a dream about a, a thing coming out of the ocean and, and rising in basically a giant inferno like cave, like an incinerator. It was just like, an, it moved along the land and it was sucking up the land and, and you know, and it was coming out of the water, but uh, it was heading towards the land. I never actually seen it hit the land, but it was coming towards and it was, it was like fire. It was so loud, like a jet engine that was like as big as like a city, like Manhattan and, and a big open cave and, 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 the, and the water was going into its into its mouth. I thought it was a moving island with a cave on it until it got close and it had teeth. And the magma in the back of the throat and up the top of it was like evaporating the water and the steam and it was steaming up and all around it and behind it was leaving behind like a like a an ex, there was an exhaust thing on the back where it was just blowing out the back. Picture a giant fire fiery massive furnace like a boiler has on it and going out the back end and the back end was melting the, the sand into glass as it was moving along it. And it was terrifying, the sound and the wind and the, you know, the pressure in the air and all that. And the sky was, like, red with, like, flames and smoke. And, and I was like, oh, my God. And then I woke up. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. And I read about it in Revelations when I went into jail uh, in 2020. I was in there for four months. Yes, falsely in prison. I know it sounds so stupid, but all this weird stuff has been happening. And it's got me freaked out because I had that dream. And then I, I never read Revelations. And then... Um, and, and, you know, I never even really read the Bible, but I read it because I was bored because of COVID and all the books had to be taken out except the Bibles. We were allowed to have them. So we couldn't rent books and I just laid around all day. So I was kind of forced to read it here and there. I just spotted through it, you know, got through most of it. But, but as soon as I got to that part, they describe in Revelations that exact creature coming out of the ocean called the beast or Leviathan or something. And it was so freaky. I, am, I was laying down, and I almost fainted even while laying down. I got dizzy. I was like, holy shit, that's the dream I had. They described it almost exactly. And that was enough to be freaky. Now you got this other shit. Now the weirdest thing of all today happened just now. 
and I'm just still blown away from it because I remember, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it says something in the Bible about, uh, oh, I'm going to have wind, sorry. I have cancer, I think, so. And I smoke too many cigarettes, so. This stuff, talking about this stuff gets me winded because I have to, like, push myself through it because it's so ridiculous sounding. And anybody would think in a second that this guy's full of shit, you know, and... And I feel like I'm full of shit, but I'm not. I've always been more honest than people should be to the point where people think I'm funny just because I'm being honest. You know, I tell them everything to the point where I embarrass myself and I don't care because it gets a good laugh. So, but, uh, so anyway, I was, um, yeah, I'm sitting, uh, I was, uh, I was driving to go get pizza for my family for dinner tonight, just a little bit ago. And I looked up on the road and there's a rainbow up in the sky and clouds and the rainbow is like looks like somebody's pissing rainbows out of the clouds right onto the road and and i was like oh wow this is cool it's not moving usually the rainbows move away from you this rainbow stayed put i'm not even joking i got it on video and I, as i got closer to it on video i'm driving along you can see it disappears at one point but for me it didn't disappear in my own eyes uh i drove and i got there was a red car in front of me a little red car and i'm Wondering, I'm like, wow, is he going to be able to drive through it? And the scenery drives kind of through it. And at this point on the video, I'm going to share on here, uh, the video, you can't see the rainbow anymore when I get that close to it. But I know when I got to it, it brightens up. And in the video, you just see it brighten up real quick, and then it continues on. But in, in, uh, in for me, the rainbow was all around me. I drove right into it, and there was like pillars of light around I was looking around like, wow, I'm at, the, I'm at the end of the rainbow. I found the end of the rainbow. I didn't know you could do that. And now I'm like freaked out. Like, I don't think you can do that. You're not supposed to be able to, to drive through the end of the rainbow. That's the whole joke about the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is you can't reach the end of the rainbow because it's a circle. But I'm sure, you know, it continued down into the dirt to make a circle. But it was just mind boggling. I, I drove through it and there was light all around me. It was like unbelievable and then I, as i got out the other side i turned to look back and i'm like there's no rainbow there anymore so i guess it only shines from one side but it had me so freaked out that i was like i gotta go back and uh, go back and look at this video and when i went back to look at the video there's a, like an old man's face in the clouds it's really obvious looks like he's blowing he looks like he's blowing rainbow out of his mouth like spitting it out onto the highway and it, and it kind of as i'm driving it's it's a real video i mean you can see it kind of morphs and turns into like it's looking at me smiling it's so fucking freaky and i was, excuse my language but i'm not trying to change who i am because this is who i've always been and i don't think language really matters i don't think it was ever meant to be a sin because language changes and all that now i feel like i have a responsibility to do the right thing but i don't even know what the right thing is so apparently everything I've been doing up till now, if I was to be somehow like friggin', uh, you know, cho chosen for some reason, I'm not going to, my, my, my mentality would be to not change a thing because I was chosen for a reason. You know, that would be the way I'd look at it. I'd say, well, I guess I don't have to change anything. This must be the way I'm supposed to be, which would make it, you know, the way I look at it is it would make it so easy for everybody to believe that they are worthy of getting into heaven, you know, because that, that, that's what I would want to do if I was God. I would say, I want to get the biggest piece of shit I could find that is still within the, the, the limits of the uh, the rules and choose him because that would be the person that everybody could look at and go, I could, I could, I could do this. Well, maybe I can get into heaven. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to destroy hope. That'd be something I would imagine Satan would do. So, but here, it just sounds so religious, but it's it's just, how can I ignore it, you know? i got to put it up on here, and I'm going to cut this short now, because i got to go busk now and try and make some money with my guitar. I go around here where we live in Washington, North Carolina, and I, you know, down by the waterway here, down by the, I forget what the name of the river is, but I go down there and I play uh, guitar, usually just sitting there with a with like a, a, a basket or whatever the heck. It's actually a Tupperware with a lid on it with a hole cut in it to try and get donations just because I'm trying to uh, drum up any money I can for me and my son and my wife. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go do that now before the sun goes down. But, yeah, I just had to tell, tell everybody about this because it's so freaking weird. I mean, I, I don't even know what to make of it. I swear I remember reading something about something like that in the Bible, too, but I don't have time to go looking right now. But I do remember it saying something about a rainbow coming down and... and 
so it's got me a little like with all the other weird shit that's been going on i can't ignore it but i can't take it seriously either but it's so weird that even though i don't have any fans on here i still have to have to log it and then there's the whole tuning that I, I of my guitar too that i came up with fucking hearing out of a vent in a in the room in our house the wind blowing i always hear things in the wind which is just probably gonna get me committed if i talk about it too much but they tell me things and, and voices and all that and i don't know i gotta stop here though but maybe i'll try this new tuning on my guitar at least for uh see what it sounds like or see what let you guys if there's anybody even there listening right now uh or later on when this recording is posted for people to download but I'll show you what it sounds like if I can find my friggin' pick. All right, hell of it, I'm just gonna do it without the pick. But this tuning is what I picked up out of out of my heater vent in the wind. It sounded like an organ playing one note, uh, well, one key, just like a six, not six strings, probably a lot more than that, but they're all the same pattern, like a, I think it was C, F, A sharp, C, F, C, or something like that. But the bottom one I tune down sometimes to the next, whatever the next step is below C. Because I, uh, I like to have that lower key slightly. But I mean, the bottom, it's basically C, F, A sharp, C, F, C. It's all C's and F's really in A sharp, I believe. But there it is. It, it sounds like the, the, you know, the space, what is it, 2001 A Space Odyssey, when they have the monolith landing. It sounds almost like that tuning. I didn't realize that till afterwards, but it turned out I tuned it to what it, where I could match it up best to what I heard coming out of the vent in our house, and then I checked it with the guitar tuner to see. I put it on chromatic so it would get all the in between notes, just to see what the notes were, if they were even landed on notes, if it's possible that it was just in my head, or was I really hearing something? And it was like within like just a cent or two, one cent off tuning of all those notes, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. So I, it is some kind of you know pattern. I think it, I thought maybe the harmonic balancing of a motor, you know, how a spin, the spindle part that spins has to stay balanced in between magnets, and then the outer edge, you know, gives it electricity to make it spin, and it hovers there, basically. They have to be, all those currents for the magnets have to be harmonically balanced. So I thought maybe that was just what I was hearing, you know. It's almost like hearing an audience, like at home watching a TV show or something and making comments like the director's cut or something, but you, you always hear like the bad and the good. Sometimes I get shitty comments, sometimes I, get, I hear happy comments. It's like there's ghosts around me listening or, you know, whatever. I hear them, I, mean, I guess they're around all of us, but I actually can hear them. So they seem to be wanting to hang around even more because they always get shocked when I, when I point out that I can hear them. Like, like I'll hear them like uh, they sometimes are nasty they're just flat out nasty like they're like oh you suck stop playing play something else you know just regular people that they're disembodied souls but I think they're just displaced spirits from alternate dimensions that were changed or never happened or could have happened but never did they're just, they're, they're just displaced for now until the, and that would be a spirit world I guess where they would end up eventually I guess going back to heaven or whatever the heck we're all going Hopefully all of them. But, uh, let me make sure it's tuned. I can, I can tune, I tuned all these relative to what I heard out of the vent. Didn't even compare the strings to each other. But once I had it I, and I knew the notes, now I can just match up the notes. Like these two bottom strings and I go to the next one. this tuning on the guitar i can do like a, a ripple harp thing and i call it the chris flash harp because my nickname is always chris flash and it's the notes the whole all the notes are that consist of just c f a sharp c f c or something like, or alternate so 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 the chris flash harp would be the c f a sharp <laughs> but you can 
do a dragon thing where you can hit all the strings no matter where you're at, and it actually lets you do like a, you can do like an arpeggio, uh, like a harp, basically. And you can play all modern chords on it, which is really cool. Modern chords work on it, just they just sound differently. That's the basic power chord, whatever it's called. It Green Day and Bonnie use everywhere. But you can hit all the strings at once, no matter where you're at, unless the notes are between sour. And but this is it right here. It's, it's, yeah, it's almost like the same as. But this one keeps going. You don't even have to hold any frets down. It's just. And in the key in my vent, all I heard was organs holding those notes. And the choir, like, oh. It was just all one solid note. And I was like, I'm going to tune it, try to match up all those notes. And this is it. And it works like so cool. I could do so many weird things with it. And it sounds, it sounds almost like a myth, like myth, mythological or maybe a lost tuning. For all I know, it's some common tuning that's used. I don't, I don't know how to read music, so I just play by ear. But so anyway, here we go. I play a, one of the first things I was doing with it. Sounds like the devil's dance, and it's played kind of like a like these two notes jump back and forth like that. Like one goes up, one goes down. Not those two. No. There it is. Oh, whatever you get. So here's. working on the melodies for that like that's kind of the main parts that I like so far though I like 
Tuning it down to maybe D. Now it's back to C, F, A sharp, C, S, D, I believe. It just makes the guitar sound more full, like a full symphony, because it's got a it's got a bigger dynamic range now between the notes. Like the they're very far apart, the lowest and the highest string. I mean, they feel. They feel effect thing you can do too you can, with one hand you can pluck down one end and you can drag your finger down the other one so it gives you like a, an effect like a slash like a slash from guns and roses he can't even play that fast but it's really an illusion but it sounds like it's fast Come on. really that's all slash does too he just has it does it a different way it's always usually way more complicated than it Sounds way more complicated than it usually really is. But if you do it fast, you can make it sound like you got like 20 fingers. Oh, wait, how many? No, that's 20 fingers and toes. Yes, we have only 10 fingers. I have to double check. <laughs> Super fast, but it's really not. But the tuning, you can do it like anywhere. It's so cool. So you can play like regular chords and do that drop that in every once in a while. Let's try a heavy song. theme song was terrifying and then songs that sound um not so terrifying you know, pretty some of this stuff because it really makes me feel like I should be committed but I have to I just gotta be honest I can't lie uh, I, I just don't like lying because it makes things too complicated it's too hard to keep up with lies it makes life way more it's easier to, to, to find a truth in your memory than it is to find a lie in your memory and piece it together and make it work being dead honest is just so much fucking easier but uh I've learned that over the years that I just hate getting caught in lies. So I just say from now on, I don't care what people think. I just tell them the truth. I mean, it's keeping it as real as possible. <laughs> but uh, it's because I'm I got a horrible memory. That's why I do it that way. But um, I got a good long-term memory. But anyways, uh, what was I about to say? I was about to make a point there. Oh, forget. I can't remember. But yeah, it's, um, I like this uh, tuning because it works with modern chords, slightly, pretty much all the same ones, but they just sound different. It's like it, make, it makes the guitar a new instrument. See, I 
like anything and it comes out I like that. Hold on, I don't want to lose it. Yeah, I gotta work that into something. These are all ideas for my album. I'm trying to kinda of compose it on the air like this maybe and then like put it together later. Any basic ideas for it? Obviously it'll be like a theme of a religious thing, but my own I have I, I have my own religious views that aren't really they're in tune with like the whole basic the basic uh, uh, religions out there in their own ways. But, like it's a mix of karma and computer technology and modernized basically and, and the Bible of course. it into it not be too religious but be more geeky sciencey adventure when he's flying on the bike in front of the moon and stuff. It sounds like you're playing like triple fast, triple time speed. It's cool. folks probably so that, that there's anyone listening but if you ever do listen I'm sure it'll be fast forwarding through most of this mumbo jumbo jumbo fucking chords that I can't play right because I'm still trying to learn what chords can be held most of them most of the normal modern day chords can be held there's a cool song I was doing last night that I like a lot I can't remember how that went
this is a tuning from like an old uh like an old uh, Irish tuning or Scottish or something. I don't know, I gotta look it up, look more into it. You know what's weird? I looked at up the notes on, on Google. It was I looked up C F A sharp C F C <clears throat> and it was some mi- mission to Mars in two thousand and something. Two thousand it was some rover mission came up and it was given exact like like the information that came up with the, with those notes was like it was talking about like you got to look it up on Google. It, it comes up, and, and this was weird. I thought this right away. I was like, well, maybe Mars was like the previous Earth. Because if you start reading the, the details of this mission, and it's supposed to be like something that most normal people can't find because it's like a it's like an internal document for NASA that comes up, and it's not supposed to be easily found, I guess, but it has some stuff in there that was kind of creepy. And I was like, maybe this is another thing that's supposed to be part of whatever, how everything's in harmony and... All that, but I don't know. I recommend anybody that knows anything about you know, demons in uh, the center of the earth, which is my theory, and uh, 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 Mars. Look up the look up these notes on, on on Google. You'll see it comes up. It's a PDF file from a Mars mission. It says something like uh, Mars over 2002 or something like that. And it was uh, yeah. I just looked up C F C comma F comma A pound, which is sharp comma cfc so all right all right uh what do we got 11 minutes left i can't believe what's going on almost 45 minutes i'm gonna play, play that other one there's one neat song California, kind of, but like darker. I'm gonna try that differently. That sounds better. I don't want to rip off Hotel California, so I'll do it like that. No, not that one. <laughs> figure this out. Uh, one more time. for you i'm spending more time tuning this but i'll get back later on i'm gonna go get a shower and stuff adios for now ladies and gents and whatever else demons and angels and all that fun jazz bye-bye